Clone legions and infantry battalions faced some of the harshest scenarios known to man during the Clone Wars, from the unfortunate legions that fought on the monster world of Volusia, to those that barely made it off the chaotic hell of Umbara. But there was one clone unit that may have had the worst luck among the entire army, and it was the squad of snowtroopers that were stationed at the Orto Plutonia outpost. A planet completely covered in snow, and one that faced below freezing temperatures year-round, the clone snowtroopers that were stationed at the outpost had their survival entirely dependent on their equipment. The thing that sucked for them was that much of the equipment they were given had yet to be fully tested in the field, so plenty of things straight up did not work the way they were supposed to. Even the pre-made food rations they were given were ruined by the freezing temperatures of Orto Plutonia making the already bland-tasting rations lose any flavor they may have had. Perhaps the worst of it all was the sheer boredom of being stationed at such a place. Reports of a Separatist base being stationed nearby on the same planet were given, but it was never found by these clone snowtroopers. So, to pass some time, the clones would mess around all day and target practice at droid snowmen they built, but any type of fun the clones tried to come up with quickly came to an end when the Icemen came. Natives of the planet that were not happy to have a foreign army occupy their lands. These so-called ice men came and brutally murdered every clone patrol that left the outpost. What was left of them were only their cracked helmets put up on spikes as a warning to the others. The surviving clones tried to make light of it, as to not go insane out of fear, but it only lasted so long until the few remaining clones began to panic. As the last day of this clone unit came, the few survivors attempted to escape off the planet but all their equipment was completely frozen and useless. All they could do was pray, and hope the gunships they requested for evac would arrive soon. But of course, this clone unit wouldn't be called the unluckiest if they survived. As night came, the final tent of clone survivors was attacked by the giant ice men, who tore it open from the outside, and grabbed each clone one by one, ripping them apart out in the unforgiving cold. The last clone to meet his fate by the ice men was Shiv. Right before his death, he was writing a letter to a fellow clone who had passed away during another battle, a close friend of his named Flanker. Soon, Shiv would join Flanker in whatever afterlife there was, right after he finished writing his letter as the Icemen got to him. The letter Shiv wrote would soon be buried by the snow along with his corpse. Later, a task force led by Anakin and Obi-Wan arrived at Orto Plutonia to investigate, eventually discovering the native people of the Tals and making peace with the once aggressive natives of the planet. Thanks for watching this video. Help support the channel by becoming a member on our Patreon page, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.